A teenager and his sneakers sounds pretty typical, doesn't it? But not for one 16-year-old who, with the help of his father, amassed an enormous collection of high-end kicks worth about $30,000. Then he saw an opportunity and turned it into a growing business. Kate Rogers has the story. Most teenagers spend the money they make at their after-school job on fast food, music, cool clothes, and shoes. And in a lot of ways, Chase Reed is no different. So this is one of the biggest sneak releases to me. Only he's turned his passion for looking cool into his after-school job and more. At 14, Chase had amassed $30,000 worth of basketball sneakers. But last year, he sold his entire collection to open up the world's first sneaker pawn shop, Sneaker Pawn USA in Harlem. Well, it was hard to let go of the collection because you're 14 years old with 200 pairs of sneakers and now all of a sudden you have to go back to zero. It was like, well, this is not really fair. This, is, this can't be life. Like, that's, that's what I was looking at it as um, until, like, until I got older, I'm like, all right, it wasn't, it was really worth it. It was just part of becoming a young man and, and a business entrepreneur. Like many 16-year-olds, Chase is hooked on Instagram, only his goal is to actually drive foot traffic here to Sneaker Pawn USA to see what he's got in store. So, for example, these LeBron crown jewels, they retail for $250, but Chase and his dad, they're selling them for over $1,200. Oh, yeah, that's good. His that's dad, good. Troy, also his business partner, says those social media posts drive hundreds of calls and customers to the store daily. This is the new stock market. The markup on these sneakers is anywhere from 100 to 800 percent. And industry experts say the hype around sneaker collecting is real. In fact, the NPD group reports the basketball sneaker industry grew by 20 percent in 2014, with no signs of slowing down in the year to come. With idols like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Jay-Z, Chase, who is just 16, has big plans for the future, hoping to open up more stores around the country. If I do get a nice shoe in the store, I'll end up selling it, like rather than collecting it. I'm a businessman now. Chase has learned the art of letting go, looking cool, and making cash, all before he turns 18. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.